So I am going to be going live, or at least attempting my best um, this month, but life happens. So I didn't know what to go live about today, and I was like, ah, and I listened to like five chapters in an audiobook, and I still, I had a couple ideas, but nothing that like was like, yes, that's it. And I just had the, yes, that's it. And it is a conversation that's going on in my boot camp. And the conversation is so many times, um, us, especially as women, we, our emotions take charge. And when our emotions take charge, we reach for like comfort food because we reward ourselves kind of like we're dogs. If you think about it that way, we're like, I deserve this cookie. I deserve this cake. I deserve this, whatever it is. I deserve it because I just had a day of hell. Um, and it makes sense. And I would run towards Oreos. And I used to actually eat the entire box of Oreos in one sitting. And then I felt really bad that I ate the entire box. And I was in denial that I ate the entire box. So I'd go into the kitchen and pick up trash that's already in the trash can, put it underneath, and then put it down on it. So that way I didn't have to like visually see my mess up every time I looked into the trash. And it took me a long time to realize, like, that is an issue, especially when eating that entire box of Oreos was happening, like, three times a week. And I want you to know that in time, things will change, but you have to put effort into it. And in time, you'll be able to be like, no, three Oreos, four Oreos, done, all done, okay? But that takes time, and it takes <sighs> consistency. What I don't want you to do is what I used to do. And I would go to a birthday party or I would go to like 4th of July was yesterday. I would go somewhere. I would do something like eat that entire box of Oreos after I already started a diet. And I've tried all the diets. I've tried Weight Watchers. I've tried um, Slim Fast. Like I'm pretty sure I lived off of Slim Fast and x -Lax, Don't do that. For like six-ish months. And that's what my life consists of. And Hot Pockets. So x -Lax, uh, the shakes I just said, what is it? Slim Fast Shakes and Hot Pockets. And that's all I ate for six months. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm not losing weight. But the thing is, after you eat that entire box of Oreos, don't look at it and be like, eh, fuck it. And then throw in the towel for the rest of the week. It is Thursday. If you throw in the towel today, that doesn't mean throw in the towel for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then start again fresh Monday. That means acknowledge that right now you just threw in the towel, that you just didn't have any self-control, that you just messed up a little bit, and get right back on. Drink some water. Drink, um, go eat vegetables. Do something to counteract what you just have done. You don't need Monday to start fresh. You don't need a new month to start fresh. You don't need a new day of the week to start fresh, and you don't need a new year to start fresh. You can take this moment right now, accept what just happened, accept like the consequence that's going to come with it, in a couple days and accept that you had no control forgive yourself for it I'm gonna say that again forgive yourself for it and have some grace with it and then the next moment start fresh the next minute start fresh you don't have to throw in the towel every time you decide you want to treat. You don't have to give up and throw your hands in the air every time you binge eat something by accident. You don't have to throw in the towel for the rest of the week, for the rest of the month, and be like, next Monday I'm going to start fresh. Now, you don't have to do that every time you mess up. You can take back control the moment you realize what is happening and forgive yourself for it. Give yourself grace because you're human and you're emotional and life's freaking hard. And then start fresh from that moment on. Every new second. The goal, okay, for like me, I want to not yell like a lunatic at my kids. And you know what happened today? I asked them to clean their room, and it didn't happen. And then I asked them to make a pile of toys to donate, and it didn't happen. And I, I lost my shit. I did. I'm not proud of it. I did. And then I cleaned out their room. Entire giant black trash bag, like those construction ones of trash, and another one of toys that are donating. And because they didn't help, they don't have a say in like what just was donated. But you know what I mean? So my, my isn't food. Food is not really my issue anymore. I want to not lose my shit for an hour. <laughs> okay? And it's an hour by hour, minute by minute, being at home with a kid that's not on the schedule. You know what I mean? So your weakness is food. Mine is I want to be a calm mom. So even when I'm like 
hulking up mentally inside, I'm like, you are a calm mom. You are a calm mother. But I have to forgive myself because I'm human. And there has Okay? That's just part of it. That is part of it. Forgiving yourself and not beating yourself up for it. So start fresh every moment. Okay? So you ate food that you didn't want to eat and you're beating yourself up mentally for it. And I just yelled at my kids. So, all right, the next hour, I'm not going to yell at my kids and I'm going to do my damnest, 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 damnest to stay strong. And you're going to do your best to not shove chocolate in your face for the next hour. Okay? Does that make sense? Like, don't. I'm not going to wait until Monday to not yell at my kids. That's ridiculous. That means I'm going to scream at them all weekend because, you know what I mean? Like, that makes no sense. So why are we doing this with food? Why are we doing this with fitness? You don't have to do it that way. You can just start fresh now. You don't have to wait until Monday. You don't have to wait until next week, next year. You don't have to wait until the next boot camp starts. Just start fresh right now. Give yourself grace. You're human, and we all mess up. Does that... I hope this makes sense. This is just a conversation we're having in our boot camp this month. And there's some people beating themselves up because yesterday was 4th of July and they had fun. All right. Today is July 5th. Take back control. All right. Take back control and work on the, just getting through the next couple hours at a time. Not the next couple hours at a time. That's all we have to do. All right. You guys are awesome. And I, you deserve better than how you're treating yourself. And if someone else could hear the words that you're saying in your head, they're going to think you're crazy. So why are you saying it to yourself? You wouldn't say those things to your kid. You wouldn't beat your kid up for overeating. You wouldn't beat, you know what I mean? You wouldn't beat your friends up for overeating in front of you. So why are you beating yourself up? They're, you're seeing that they're human. You're seeing that they're going through a hard time. You're seeing that they're emotionally eating, and you're not going to belittle them about it. So why are you belittling yourself about it? It's just take back control hour to hour, and that's how you eventually get more control. I no longer – I had four Oreos last night. I did not eat the entire box of Oreos and pick it up in the trash and shove it under like I used to. It takes time, but giving yourself grace and understanding that it's a moment by moment, second by second, minute by minute thing is how you gain control. You guys are awesome. Please share or tag anyone that you think needs to hear this today. I hope this live helped you.